How you doing? I'm Darren with Ash Kickin' Barbecue. If this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Today, we're talking burgers. Typically, when I think of burgers, I'm thinking of flame broiled, seared, smash burgers, get a nice crust on there, it's absolutely delicious. But with these, we're just gonna be throwing them out on the pit boss. We're gonna be running at 250 degrees using cooking pellets, hickory blend pellets and they're gonna be absolutely delicious. You just throw them on, let them go till they're done. This is really great for if you're working outside and you know you just wanna throw some food on and have it ready in about an hour, or if you're prepping other food, you just throw these on, let them do their thing, and when they're done, they're done. They're super easy, super delicious, and who doesn't like a smoked burger? So let's get these seasoned up and then we'll get them out on the pit boss. To season these up, we're just gonna use a really basic Seasoning here, Suckle Busters SPG. You can make your own. I really like their stuff, but be aware, it does make you sneeze. So let's go ahead and just get these seasoned up. Get a nice little layer on all our burgers. Then we'll flip them over. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. All right guys, and that's it. That's all we're doing for the seasoning. Like I said, it's gonna be super simple, super easy. One thing I did wanna mention, when you patty these up, go ahead and patty them up and then stick them in your fridge for about an hour. That way they kinda of firm back up. You wanna get these on your cooker cold. You don't wanna overcook them. So this is just 80-20 ground chuck. I just picked it up today. There's a local place by me that grinds this fresh daily. So I know it's good quality meat. So, but like I said, form your patty, get them in the fridge let them kind of firm back up and then leave them in there until you go and put them on the smoker. So I'm actually got these seasoned up. I'm going to throw them back in the fridge while I get the smoker up to temp. So we'll meet you outside when we get these out in the pit. Okay guys, we have the Pit Boss Pro Series 1600 running at 250 degrees. We're just going to go ahead and get our burgers on the smoker. And we were going to let these go for about a half hour and then we'll come out and check the internal temperature on them. So again, 250 degrees, hickory pellets from cooking pellets. We're just going to let these get a nice smoke bath and we'll come out and check on them in 30 minutes. So we'll see you guys then. Okay guys, it's been 30 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and check the internal temperature on these hamburgers. We are at about 140, 140. So we're gonna probably give these another 10, 15 minutes and then we'll get some cheese on them. We're gonna probably take them to about 155 max and then they'll carry over to about 160. If I'd grind this myself, I would go ahead and eat my burger a little bit more rare but because this is store-bought I want to make sure I have it uh, pretty well cooked so we're gonna give this another 10 minutes and we'll come out and get some cheese on it so I'll bring you back then okay guys it's been 10 minutes see we still have some nice hickory smoke rolling on these burgers they're looking delicious they're getting a great color I did just take an internal temp they're all sitting at 145 degrees so we're gonna go ahead and get some cheese on I have some Colby Jack cheese here so we're just gonna go ahead and get some cheese on these burgers. Now at this point, we're just gonna go ahead and shut her down and let this go until the cheese is melted. Probably about another 10, 15 minutes or so. I like it good and melted on there. So bring you back when it's time to take these things off. Okay guys, and while we're just waiting up on these burgers here, I'm going to go ahead and get my bun on. This is just a local place by me makes these fresh daily. I'm usually a brioche guy, but I really like how soft this is. So I've got to toast it always. So we're just going to go right over the fire pot here, get a nice little toast on those buns, let these finish up, and then we'll get inside and we will build our burger. So I'll meet you guys out here when it's time to get everything off. We'll see you then. All right, guys got that cheese nice and melted these burgers are done we're gonna go ahead and get these off and get them inside and let them hang out just for a little bit they're gonna carry over a little bit and just keep kind of cooking why uh, we go ahead and let our buns finish toasting up so we're gonna get those inside 
They're looking good, smelling good. So we'll let these buns finish toasting up and I will meet you inside when it's time to build our burger. We'll see you then. All right guys, you can see I have a little makeshift burger bar set up here on my Hiawatha Woodworks Pro Series cutting board. This thing's awesome, laser engraved with my logo and everything. Go check out John, he does great work. So now it's time to assemble this burger. I can tell you one thing, it smells delicious. It has a great smoky flavor. We'll just look at the bottom here. Nice red color there. And then we went ahead and toasted our buns because everyone likes toasty buns. So I'm gonna bring you in and let's get this burger assembled. All right guys, so to start off, what I like to do is I like to get a little bit of tomato on the bottom, a little bit of onion, a lot of onion, I like onion. This is raw onion, fried onion's delicious too. Go ahead and throw our burger on there. Get that pressed down. Vegetables are very important, so we need to have some greens on there. I think that's just enough. And then I'm not a huge condiment guy, but I really like barbecue burgers. So we're gonna throw on some Suckle Busters original barbecue sauce. And we'll just go ahead and throw that on the top bun so we're not making a huge mess. That's looking pretty good there. This has a nice little bite to it and whatnot. So go ahead and throw that on, smush her down, and let's go ahead and give her a taste test. All right, guys, so we have our hickory smoked burger here, courtesy of Cooking Pellets, Hickory Pellets. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Wow, that is absolutely delicious. You got a nice bit of flavoring from the SPG. Wonderful smoky taste from those hickory pellets. Kind of hard to tell, but we even got a little bit of a smoke ring here. Got that cheese. We got our lettuce for our vegetable because we're eating healthy. Man, this is absolutely awesome. I'm gonna go in for another bite here. Guys, this smoked burger is absolutely delicious. Everything just came together with it. I'm really happy with this cook. And like I said, it was super easy. I threw these on, went about my business. I had some stuff I had to get done around the house. Let them smoke until they were done. And the flavor is absolutely awesome. Not missing any of that sear flavor or anything. And don't get me wrong, I like a traditional burger. I love a smash burger. But if I got stuff to do and I got to cook a bunch of these, I'm just going to throw them on and let them smoke. So I highly recommend giving it a try. Even if it's just to try it, the smoky flavor from it is so good. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell, stay safe, and we will see you next time.